My name is Zach Amparovich. I am the Rube Goldberg machine expert. I'm also co-host of Contraption Masters on Discovery Plus. And well, in front of me, we have a Rube Goldberg machine whereby it solves the simple task of, well, something kind of close to me. I needed a way to pass out my business cards, but you know, often I'm at a live event, I'm doing a show, what have you. So this seemed kind of like the more fun way in order to, well, pass out my business cards. Also using all six simple machines, cause why not be a little educational along the way? Let's test and see if it works. Because hint to the viewers, this is not the first take that we've done on camera. Ready, three, two, one. Ta-da! Well, I'm glad it worked that time. And again, Zach's Contraptions. Zin Labs is our official company name. Check us out on YouTube. And yeah, I bring this to presentations to really demonstrate the benefit of the six simple machines and how those simple elements paired together one after the other can create a 14 step Rube Goldberg machine to solve such a simple task and well, make it as complicated as possible. So without the machine, there are the six simple machines and I'm gonna demonstrate it as I actually reset it. So first off, we have the chain connected through all of the pulleys. We have a lever or gate latch, which actually is holding back the weight. Seesaw or lever that gets pulled down when the weight falls on top of it, which pulls the string, dropping this platform. So creating a platform down into an inclined plane. As the plane drops down, it allows the wheel and axle to travel along. The axle makes contact to this lever, which slides along which then pushes forward, allowing the spring to pull the other lever forward. From there, we have to do this from the front. We have our screw or a tether ball, which unwinds around the post. It's gonna swing down, hit our stack of blocks, into my kind of on the nose simple machine, the wedge, which is probably the hardest one for students to visualize. But the tether ball swings around, knocks the blocks do, do, do. perched precariously always the hardest block to set up perch precariously do, do, do. also what we call a hair trigger in rube goldberg machines perch precariously there we go and there you have it pulley, lever, incline plane, wheel and axle, screw, and wedge. And just to demonstrate one more time, a little early on the one because there was a shake, but the tether bolt would have hit the blocks, causing the wedge to drop, pulls the chain down, and opens the box, revealing my business cards. Simple, right? Here we have a Rube Goldberg machine. What is a Rube Goldberg machine? It's basically a device that takes a very simple action, in our case, opening a box, and makes it really, really complicated using a number of steps. Here we have 14 different steps or 14 different energy transfers in order to open that box. So really quite overcomplicates this, don't you think?